them. Either you are saying that you know they are bringing this because of elections. Now you tell me uh, what resonance does Ahmed Patel, it's been five years since he died, what resonance does he have in the Gujarat elections? Are people going to vote for so or against basis, what, what basis I, somebody I who has, no who has died? Like, so then, then the logic they, that it's being revived now for the Gujarat elections does not hold. So when the man is not alive, you put these bizarre accusations. Why didn't these things Sa come about? Saira, Saira, you are alive, saying, no you are saying, you are, no, no, once again, you are saying that these allegations have been brought forth now, six months before the Gujarat election, so that it benefits the BJP politically. Now, please it looks tell, like that. no, no, well, please tell like me, that. please tell me. How many people in Gujarat are going to vote for the BJP or against the BJP basis allegations against Ahmed Patel? See, I'll tell you what, in all probability, BJP might come back with, with the thumping majority. And I'll tell you what, these are just, you know, what do you call, uh, these things keep pricking this uh, regime because it is it, it is a very, very big, uh, you know, riot. It was a very huge, huge incident. And this has tarnished the reputation of the party and they are in, um, in a hurry to brush it under the carpet. But... For some reason or the other, it keeps manifesting itself. Again, so this is again I, a last-ditch attempt I don't get to the, bury the logic of the argument here. Ratan Sharda, please respond. Because if the attempt by the BJP was to brush this under the carpet, then why why are these facts coming out into the public domain? First of all, the it, it came basis the Supreme Court judgment. It is after the Supreme Court judgment that the SIT got formed. And the SIT has submitted an affidavit opposing bail to Tista Satalwad. So, both of it can't be true. Either BJP is keeping this alive for the elections or BJP is trying to hush it under the carpet. <laughs> I mean, you can't have both uh, arguments. Ratan Shah. See, as far as, as far as people are concerned, they know that Modi had been targeted. Modi was defamed despite all the, all the evidence which was uh, totally against what these people were claiming and doing. They framed up Modi in a best possible way, fixed him up in a possible way. Today, they are crying about, you know, fixing up uh, Tista. See, this case and this witness is not about Mr. Ahmed Patel. He died, but the person who carried on this continuous mercenary activity against Modi and the entire Gujarat government is still alive. And she is the lady who did all the wrong things already I mentioned and want to mention again. And who was Sri Kumar? The one who actually framed Nandi Narayan? Who was uh, this Sanjay Bhatt? He's in jail. He was not in the meeting which he claimed he was in the meeting. These are the kind of people, what people already know, people have no faith, so don't try to defend the indefensible. And you have no right to talk about uh, election because every six months there is election. Every okay. time I say, should we stop governance? Should the government stop every work because there is election every six months? And who is responsible? Same Congress. Kapil, continuously Kapil Madan, dissolving I'll governments. You, yeah, I'll give Kapil Madan the final word. It's not just about uh, alleged payments in lieu of uh, implicating the then uh, Gujarat Chief Minister. Also, the SIT goes on to say, there was fabrication of evidence and conjuring of facts. It's not only a case of fabrication of documents and evidence, but also influencing and tutoring witnesses and making them depose on pre-typed affidavits. Now, this is something that the Supreme Court has also mentioned in its, uh, in its judgment, that witnesses were tutored. Now, now, Zaka, one thing, let me respond, and I will make myself very, very clear, that had this been fact, is was it the subject matter of the SIT, court-monitored SIT investigation, they have done, in fact, if you read the Supreme Court's judgment, you will find appreciation uh, on the work that was done by SIT. In fact, the Supreme Court, on a number of paragraphs, have said that the work of the SIT was quite exhaustive. Yes. They've, they've examined each and every paragraph, each and every aspect. That when, when SIT has examined each and every aspect under the court-monitored uh, uh, supervision, then, and if that... SIT does not talk about any money angle here or Mr. Am no, no, but the judgment talks about uh, conjuring okay. witnesses, conjuring facts and tutoring witnesses. So, the judgment talks about it. So I am, all I am saying, so I am here making my submissions very limited to the point where the BJP makes the allegation in the press conference that the money was paid by No, no, I am asking a simple question. I have to wrap up in 30 seconds. Do you believe Tista Satilwa tutored witnesses or not? Simple question. So, 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 of course, uh, I mean, that okay. will the uh, trial will tell. How can I say here? Okay. I was, it is already said so, by the court. So was, it's it's been I, said I, by I the was, Supreme so, Court, Kapil. So. Uh, you should read the judgment. Okay, we'll leave it at that. I want to thank, uh, I want to thank all, all the guests, but uh, I'm very clear that uh, basis what the Supreme Court judgment has said, uh, that's where the SIT investigation began. We'll see how this story progresses uh, over the next few days and months. Uh, that's a wrap, but uh, stick around to CNN News.